Hey guys, so today I am making strawberry shortcake and this is an easy no-bake recipe. So you can purchase your whipped cream from the store like Ready Whip and that's not a problem. If not, you'll just need some strawberry, some sugar, some confectioner sugar. This is the type of vanilla that I used and heavy whipping cream. You'll also need some dessert shells. I'm using Tasty Cakes. I just remembered that I have this, which is a whipped cream maker from Pampered Chef that is a lot quicker than making it from scratch. With the uh, stand mixer, you could always use your hand mixer, or you could do the easier way and just do some ready whip, but we are almost out, so we're gonna go with the Old Faithful. So I have about a half of a quart of strawberries that I have diced up, and I'm gonna pour about a half of a cup of plain white sugar over top of it. This may seem like a lot of sugar, but I promise you it's not. After you mix the sugar with the strawberries, you're gonna leave it to sit for about five minutes on your counter, and you're gonna notice that it's created its own juice. This juice is the syrup that you're gonna use to drizzle on top, and it's so delicious. It is not too sweet. I promise you, you will love it. Okay, so I enjoy freshly made whipped cream and with the Pampered Chef whipped cream maker, it's so easy. But in real life, if you just wanna buy a Cool Whip or Ready Whip and keep this recipe super simple and easy, go right ahead. I'm using heavy whipping cream. I'm also going to use some vanilla. Now I'm gonna use my good vanilla, which is the Yaz Best Gourmet Vanilla Extract. Now, I get this at the North Carolina State Farmer's Market, and I'll link below where you can buy it. I only used a couple of dashes because you only need at least a quarter of a teaspoon, nothing more than that. And then I'm gonna take a half a teaspoon of powdered sugar and add that in there as well. I didn't want it too sweet, but you could use up to a full teaspoon of powdered sugar. And if you don't have powdered sugar, then go ahead and use granulated sugar. You'll be fine. So I'm just gonna put the lid on my Pampered Chef whipped cream maker and I'm going to pump, pump, pump it up. I actually sped this video up because you don't wanna see me just pumping whipped cream, okay? But it was really easy and it only took me a couple of minutes. And I'm gonna open it and just show you how quickly it just got thick. And there it is, fresh whipped cream. I actually spilled some, Boop. but that's all you need to do. So here are my strawberries. They have this beautiful syrup on them and it was just sitting there for like five minutes on the counter. So I'm going to actually take the strawberries. I'm not, I'm gonna try to not get a whole bunch of juice onto the cake, just the strawberries themselves. going to just make sure that you get enough strawberries onto your little tasty cakes. Don't overpile them too much because then they're just going to fall apart the moment you take a bite. But I would say this is two tablespoons on each shell. Don't be messy like me, by the way, guys. So now that we've got the strawberries on the shell, we're gonna take our whipped cream and we are just going to plop it right on top. You're going to make it as pretty as possible and you're gonna do that for the whole lot. Now, the piece de la resistance, I think that's how they say it, the strawberry syrup. You're going to drizzle that syrup across the top. You wanna do it as neatly as possible, but this really makes it, especially since the whipped cream isn't too sweet, this is going to just give it that oomph that you need. So just drizzle. So next, 
And lastly, I'm going to take some strawberries that do not have sugar on them. These are fresh strawberries that I just cut up and I'm going to put a couple pieces on top. You don't need much, but it's just to make it visually interesting, but also because it doesn't have that sugar, it has a naturally tart taste. And look at that beautiful, you and your friends or just you will enjoy this. Like you'll eat them up, trust me. Okay, so we're gonna take a bite. Go ahead and grab one, Mace. Okay. Be careful not to spill it. Use two hands. Cheers. Cheers. Got your nose. That was delicious. <laughs> it's in his nose.